Hey everyone, after waiting a long time, I finally got my Udo key, which is essentially a ESP32 and Raspberry Pi Pico combined into one board. In the box, you'll get the Udo key, two 20 pin headers for GPIO, one three pin header for what looks like to set debug mode, a couple of jumpers, quick start guide, SCC sticker, as well as a sticker with the part number and serial number for the Udo key itself. And after some camera magic, I got all three headers soldered onto the board. First, let's get the ESP32 set up on Windows. To begin, short the two pins next to the 10 pin header and plug in a USB-C data cable to your PC. The pins that are next to the USB-C port are for flashing the RP2040, which I later found out as you can see in the video. In order to flash the ESP32, Press the button between the two LEDs, and I believe you only need to momentarily press this instead of holding it down like I did. Download and install Espressif and select the options that best suit you during setup. For some reason, when I tried installing Rust with Espressif, it failed but didn't prevent me from flashing the ESP32 module. The instructions for installing on Windows aren't very well documented, but the process of getting the sample code on the ESP32 is similar to Linux although I had issues compiling the code as you'll see later. Once setup is complete, a command prompt window should open, but if not, double click on the ESP-IDE 5.0 PowerShell icon that should have been created on your desktop. Next, type in idf.py space create space project space blinker, and then cd into the blinker folder. Open your preferred text editor, copy and paste the Blinker code from Yuda's webpage, and make sure to save it as blinker.c into the main folder of the project that was created. In Windows, go into Device Manager, expand the port section, and find the port that your Yudu key is set to. In my case, it was COM3. To compile the project, make sure you're in the root folder of the project and type in idf.py space dash p space the port number space build space flash space monitor. However, if you try to run this now, you'll run into an error when compiling code. Based on the error from the compiler, it looks like there's an incorrect reference for a GPIO function call in the sample code. There are two lines with GPIO underscore pad underscore select underscore GPIO. You'll have to change these two lines to use the ESP underscore ROM underscore GPIO underscore pad underscore select function instead. Save changes and then run the idf.py command mentioned above. If successful, you'll see a prompt for the serial monitor run. Press the same button as earlier to restart the ESP32 and the LED should flash yellow and blue. Next, let's flash the RP2040 by first unplugging the USB-C cable from the Udo key, 
and then adding a jumper to the two pins next to the USB-C connector. Then you'll need to press both buttons on the other end of the board. If you had soldered the headers on the board, you may need a thinner object to assist with pressing down the other button. If you don't already have Python installed on your PC, Download it from the interwebs and install it on your PC. You'll need to get the paths of Python on your computer, which I did by going to the properties of the shortcut created for Python. Copy and paste that path. Open a command prompt window with the CD followed by pasting in the command that you had copied so that you can go directly into the location of Python on your computer. I tried installing our shell as suggested. However, after connecting it to the UDU key, I wasn't able to upload the Python code to it. Copy and paste the Python code from the web page and save it in the same folder as where you have Python installed. Install the AMP package from Adafruit by typing in python.exe space dash m space pip space install space Adafruit dash ampy. Once again, you'll have to go into the device manager to see what COM port the RP2040 is connected to. Then go back to the command prompt window and type in ampi space dash dash port space port number space put space the file name of the Python script. Make sure you don't make the same mistake as I did and ensure the put in the command is lowercase. If the LED next to the two buttons flashes yellow, then you have successfully installed Python code on the RP2040. Hopefully this helps anyone trying to use Windows to upload code to their UDU key. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to see me do with the UDU key. See you all in the next video.